السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله من بعد Welcome brothers and sisters in our program Prophet's Stories We are talking about the Prophet Shuaib عليه الصلاة والسلام and what he said to his people Madian Now what was the reply from the people of Shuaib عليه الصلاة والسلام Allah سبحانه وتعالى said قال الملء الذين استكبروا من قومه said the eminent ones who were arrogant among his people سبحان الله always brothers and sisters we notice that who reject the da'wah who refuse to follow the prophets عليهم الصلاة والسلام who disbelieve in Allah سبحانه وتعالى at the beginning you will find the leaders of every country why because at the beginning or the main thing they are thinking about their chairs their positions they don't want to lose their honor they think that their honor and gain money and also and being leaders like that so always you'll find them fighting the prophets what did they say they said لنخرجنك يا شعيب والذين آمنوا معك من قريتنا أو لتعودن في ملتنا We will surely evict you or شعيب and those who have believed with you from our city or you must return to our religion سبحان الله If you notice here brothers and sisters that the tyrant people always they are weak yes they are strong they have power they have muscle, they have weapons, they have money, but they are very weak. What do I mean that they are very weak? And their conversation and their argument, they cannot argue. They are very weak in their debate. When they come to the issue, the, the point to debate and to discuss, they are very weak. If you come to discuss them uh, logically, they are very weak. Why? Because they don't have proofs. Or they are, their proofs are very weak, not logic. Subhanallah. They say to Shu'ayb alayhi salatu was salam, Oh Shu'ayb, if you are going to give us da'wah, if you are inviting people to be Muslims, we are going to evict you and also the believers with you. Subhanallah. They should tell Shu'ayb alayhi salatu was salam, let's have more conversation. If you have the, the truth, we are going to follow the truth. Or if we have the truth, you, you, should follow our, uh, you should follow us. But they are sure that they, are, they were wrong. And the proofs with the messengers of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also they mentioned that if you don't stop, we, you, you have two options. Either we evict you and the believers with you, or you should come back to our religion. Of course, brother and sister, this doesn't mean that Shu'ayb was a non-believer. Astaghfirullah, never. Always the prophets and the messengers of Allah are believers. Always. But uh, the scholars say it means that the, the, uh, the followers of Shu'ayb, the non-believers who believed and followed Shu'ayb, they gave them the option to return back to the kufr. Immediately they said, قَالَ أَوَلَوْ كُنَّا كَارِهِينَ Even if we were unwilling. Subhanallah. Immediately they refused both options. And they said, why we refuse? قَدْ افْتَرَيْنَا عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا إِنْ عُدْنَا فِي مِلَّتِكُمْ بَعْدَ إِذْ نَجَّانَ اللَّهُ مِنْهَا We would have invented against Allah a lie if we returned to your religion after Allah had saved us from it. They said to them, are you crazy? What you are saying? After we, taste the, we tasted the faith, the purity, the happiness of being Muslims, you want us to go back or to return to the filth of wrong beliefs? SubhanAllah. This is the rule, brother sisters. All the time, anyone, this is a rule, brothers and sisters, anyone tastes the, the, the sweetness of faith, 
he will not return back. And subhanallah, the statement, this statement was said by the leader of the uh, Christians when the Arabs, I mean the Quraysh sent Abu Sufyan there. And also the Prophet وسلم, sent a messenger there, inviting him to Islam. So uh, Hercules asked Abu Sufyan certain questions, maybe 10 or 9 questions. And one of them, I mean one of the questions, he asked Abu Sufyan. That time Abu Sufyan was not Muslim. Later he became a Muslim, radiyallahu ta'ala an. He asked, I mean the Christian leader, asked Abu Sufyan about the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Any one of his followers return back to the disbelief because Islam is not a good religion? He said, no. Subhanallah. Why? Because there is a chance that some people will return back to the disbelief because of money. Okay, but it was a smart question. Clever question from the Hercule is that he asked him, anyone reject Islam because he, he is not convinced by Islam? He said, no. Then he said, وَكَذَلِكَ الْإِيمَانِ إِذَا خَالَطَتْ بَشَاشَتُهُ الْقَلْبِ This is, subhanAllah, the impact and the result of the true believer, true believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The good believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are a true believer, if the belief mixed with your heart, you will not leave this religion. Brothers and sisters, we should believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by heart. We should love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We as Muslims, we should encourage the others to accept Islam. And we should love our Lord and our religion. And if we love our religion and our Lord and our Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, definitely we'll call to this religion. Why? Because we, we taste the beauty of Islam. Then he, he said, I mean Shu'aib, وَمَا يَكُونُ لَنَا أَن نَعُودَ فِيهَا إِلَّا أَن يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ رَبُّنَا Okay, and it is not for us to return to it except that Allah our Lord should will. So subhanAllah, they did not trust themselves, everything under the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a very important point, brothers and sisters. Always, always we should trust Allah and we should not trust ourselves. We should not trust ourselves. If you think that, no, I am a strong believer, I am a good Muslim, I will live as a Muslim and I will, die, for sure I will die as a Muslim, this is wrong belief. You should trust Allah and you should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, keep me as a Muslim in this life and also to die as a Muslim. Brothers and sisters, we are going to stop now. Zakum Allah khairan. We hope that you benefit from my episode. See you inshallah tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.